Welcome to SoundForge Audio Studio, your editor for recording, editing, optimizing, exporting, and converting audio files. This video will show you the best way to work in the program. After starting the program, SoundForge Audio Studio displays an empty project window. To load an audio file, go to a directory containing your audio files in the File Explorer. Drag your audio file while holding down the mouse button into the file window. The waveform shows you a visual representation of your audio material. In the toolbar at the top, you'll find the transport controls for playback and stopping. One, two, three, four, five. To start and stop even faster, use the keyboard spacebar. Clicking on the timeline moves the playback marker. SoundForge Audio Studio has many options for editing and optimizing your audio material. For example, you can filter out noise from a cassette recording. Normally, such noise is present throughout the entire file. In such a case, you can open and apply the optimization effect directly. Special functions for noise removal can be found in the Tools menu. You can reduce noise using the D hisser. If an effect is to be applied only to a specific area, select the area first. First, activate the soft cut mode to automatically create a small dissolve to prevent any crackling at the edges. You can magnify the view using zoom buttons. The mouse wheel can also be used as a zoom. Move the mouse pointer to the borders of the selection until it becomes a double arrow. You can now move the position of the border. Finally, you can apply the effect specifically to the selection. Multiple audio files can be combined, for example, in order to be burned together to a CD. From the File menu, choose Open and Depend. Additional material will appear as last in the file window. Track markers are automatically placed in front of each file. If you want to remove a specific file, select it and click the Delete key on your keyboard. The Align function is helpful here. Activate alignment on markers to make sure that the selection snaps to them exactly. Areas that appear later will be automatically moved forward, closing the gap. Sometimes it is necessary to cut an audio file. Slice editing fulfills this function. A slice is a virtual selection whose borders can be moved in either direction after the fact. First, activate the slice. Using the buttons on the bottom, you can change the borders. Doing this moves the material like a sheet of paper above the slice in front. All slices behind it are dragged along. When you drag into the opposite direction, the material will be pulled along. Using the buttons at the top, you can create transitions. Using the crossfade editor, you can configure the crossfade more exactly. The region list is found next to the file explorer. Here you see a list of file regions with all corresponding markers. You can also resort your tracks here. Open the CD Index Manager and check whether all CD track markers are correct. If you want to change the order of a song, click on the little buttons with a double arrow. Audio material in the waveform display will likewise be rearranged. To save or convert the audio file, select Save As in the File menu. In the Format settings, select the Export Format. Here you can, for example, export MP3 songs. In the Export settings, you can decide whether each CD track should be written as a separate file, or you can burn an audio CD in the Tools menu. This has been our introduction to SoundForge Audio Studio. There are a lot more features to discover. Detailed explanations for all of the features can be found in the online help. Open it by pressing F1. Have fun with your audio files and SoundForge Audio Studio, your SoundForge team.